Hello everyone and welcome back to another travel vlog. If you're new around here, my name is Brogan and I do lots of home, lifestyle and of course travel content here on my channel. So please subscribe if you're not already. Today's video is very exciting because we're working in partnership with Visit Britain. And if you've been watching the vlogs this summer, you'll know that my boyfriend Benji and I, with our little dog Bonnie on some of the trips, have been exploring the UK this summer. We have been escaping the everyday and enjoying all the places that we've missed so much and also going to some new places. So we've been reconnecting with friends and family. We've been on lovely long dog walks. We went to London and did a city break for the day and city breaks and weekends away allow us to just get away, escape that every day and do it safely, responsibly. And we feel really good about it. It's been such a great uh, couple of weeks so far doing lots of fun things. We are so lucky to have world-class cities here in the UK that attract international visitors and now it's a chance for us to go and see those places ourselves things that we haven't done before and Cardiff is a city we haven't done a weekend in plus a short break allows us the chance to support local independent businesses and our homegrown tourism industry so we're really passionate about this and really enjoying the chance to get away so hopefully you'll enjoy this vlog today we've actually just spent a week in mid and north Wales so it feels only fitting that we are heading to Cardiff, the capital city of Wales today. So we've got a little bit of an itinerary planned, lots of things to show you. There is so much to do in Cardiff. So hopefully this video will give you some inspiration or some ideas if you're interested. I will also leave a link to Visit Britain below so you can go and check out ways to escape the everyday this summer from Brighton to here in Bournemouth to Edinburgh to London, wherever you are thinking of going this year, then um, yeah, go check it out. So without further ado, we are going to drop off the dog at my mum's because Bonnie is not coming with us for this trip. Let's go to Cardiff. Hello. Oh, I've got two fish, right, Mama? Hopefully no, all not. Good. How's <laughs> this, it going? This is Benji, my boyfriend slash travel buddy. Whether I like it or not. <laughs> we have both been to Cardiff before, but you've worked there a few times. For ages, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Fun fact, Cardiff was the first place we stayed in a hotel together really early on because our work schedules just so happened that we were in the same place mm. at the same time. Um, so it's really cool to be going back there again today, but yeah, Looking exciting. Let's go. We've just dropped Bonnie off at my mum's and now we are heading to Cardiff. It's going to take us just under three hours and this is the route. How exciting. Angelica, Angelica. Eliza and Peggy, the Skylar sister. Look around, what's happening in New York? What? We have arrived in Cardiff. We just parked the car and we're gonna walk down to Cardiff Castle first. And it was actually a really smooth drive, wasn't it? It's was fine. Two, just over two good. and a half. I'm so excited to be here. We just caught a glimpse of the castle on the way in, didn't we? We did. Just one corner of it. And also we drove past the Flip Prince Party Stadium, I think it's called now, the Millennium Stadium. Yeah. Because we made such great time, we're a bit early for the castle, so I think we're going to go walk down to the arcades. Yes. And go to the coffee, coffee baker, coffee barker. The coffee barker, we're going to go there for yeah. some breakfast. So let's walk down there. That's our first stop. Have a flat white. New Yorker. Yeah, the New Yorker. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, That's great. Thanks so much. This is the cutest little coffee shop. I love the vibe. This is a good vibe. <laughs> yeah. Nice on yours. <laughs> yeah. Love it. It's got loads of little details, loads of exposed brick. It feels like we're stuck step back in time. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Each room's slightly different as well. Like we've got exposed brick here. We've got like old like London tube station tile through there. Yeah. Take a wander through and have a look. Yeah. Salmon bagel, Philadelphia. 
breakfast was lovely, but we have decided to finish it off with a little treat because it was the first thing I saw when we walked in wasn't it? I went, yeah. Oh my god, they got jam dodger blondies. How amazing. We thought we'd share it. Mm -hmm. Cuz yeah. we've got a lot of snacks to enjoy today. We have. <laughs> 5 seconds later. <laughs> Devoured. That was uh, lovely. Right, we're now going to go into the castle, and this is the front entrance. Absolutely incredible. This is right in the city centre. Look at this. Lovely. I'm so excited. I've never been here before. Wow. The sun has just come out in perfect timing so we can go and explore the castle. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Wales is actually home to over 600 castles and has the most castles than any country in Europe, which is incredible. And Cardiff Castle has over 2000 years of history here. So really, really, really excited to explore. We have tickets today. They were £12.50 per person per adult. And we're just gonna do the scanning in, track and trace. This um, attraction has been marked as we're good to go. It's the mark of approval, the little green tick that looks like this so that you know that attractions are safe for you to enjoy and enter um, and following all the safety protocols and guidance so that's great so we're just going to go and sort that out now and then enjoy the inside of the castle so cardiff castle was so impressive and you can actually walk these grounds for free and the current building was built in the late 11th century which replaced a Roman fort and then the castle was constructed by the Normans to help their expansion into Wales. Then the castle passed through hands of many families until 1766 where it was given to the Bute family and the owner of the castle, the third Marquess of Bute, spent a large amount of money transforming the house from a plain historic building into this sort of gothic fantasy that you see today so the architecture and all the detailing inside here was incredible and we just really really enjoyed looking around this keep was replaced it replaced a mott and bailey keep in 11.30, so it's nearly 900 years old. You think if attackers would have got through the walls, which would have been hard enough anyway, they'd have had to come through here, through the town, down there, through the through the moat, yes. then up that, all whilst the king's guards oh, were there. throwing stuff, firing arrows. Yeah. It's like 900 years old. <laughs> so I'm blowing from the cloak. Look how thick the walls are. That's what, that's over a metre. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that's mad. Oh, we're trying to take a selfie, and uh, it's actually quite bright. It's so overcast, <laughs> honestly, I cannot open my eyes. <laughs> we're both, our oh, eyes are watering. <laughs> so we're like closing our eyes and going, three, two, one, and open our eyes and take the photo. We're like a serial killer. <laughs> right, we got to go down no, those stairs. No, we've Oh, okay. You see where the valley is yeah. through there? Just to the right of that yeah. is Castle, I'm going to say Koch. <laughs> um, that there is over that way, just to the left of the cricket ground. Yeah, you can just, we can just about see it. I don't know if the camera can. We might have to zoom in. There it is. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I was just trying to tell you if there's one coming down. <laughs> oh my god. Is it worth going down? I don't think there was six foot three back in the day. <laughs> Oh no, oh gosh. Oh, also, another fun fact, every stairwell in every castle will always spiral this way around because the defenders need the swords on their right hand so you can swing like that. If you're coming up, I can't swing a sword at you. Ah. You think, so when you're coming down, because the defenders will always be at the top, the attackers yeah. will be coming up. Yeah. So you you need the swing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I was boring you. No, these people are waiting behind us. Well, they can hear, hear Benji's history lesson as well. <laughs> it's, it's replacing cooking with Benji. Oh, Benji's I see. history lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so we finished up at Cardiff Castle. Very fascinating. Love castles. <laughs> Love castles. <laughs> I was really impressed with the inside in there. It was lovely. I'm buying my um, souvenir pin. Cardiff Castle pin, love it. 
So this is the other side of Castle Arcade and we're just going to walk down and carry on doing a little bit more shopping. So I believe, obviously you've seen Castle Arcade, but I believe there are six arcades and we want to go to Morgan Arcade next because they have a record shop called Spillers which we're going to show you. I cannot get over how gorgeous these arcades are. You don't want to miss these because they're sort of hidden off the high street a little bit and then you come down and it's just beautiful architecture and loads of lovely shops so I'm gonna have a little browse just admiring this gorgeous art shop look at this hi so we've just bought two prints from this little shop and I'll show you them later the lady in there was so nice she took a photo of me holding her art she said she's gonna put it on her social media I thought that was so lovely we're having such a lovely time all the people are so kind so we're just gonna try and find the record shop which I'm really excited about because it's actually the oldest record shop in the world ah established in 1894 and it's still here here we are wowee so unfortunately they wouldn't let me film in the store so just imagine an incredible selection of records and vinyls um yeah just amazing we were just flicking through them all but we're going to carry on now and we're just sort of looping around aren't we yeah morgan arcade there's so many great little shops look at the way like just every little turn can you see yeah it's lovely Benji's found some shoes he likes i've been i found them online ages ago but i've never been in a store to try them on oh, oh they look so them. good benji bought new shoes i did it <laughs> how i love going shopping with you <laughs> just browsing and enabling each other so now we're gonna go and find the cardiff market which i'm so excited to show you this because this looks amazing benji's giving this guy some change <laughs> <laughs> he's so good so here is one of the entrances to cardiff market so i'm going to tell you a bit about it as we go inside so cardiff market has been trading in one form or another since the 1700s and they used to obviously sell things like livestock and whatnot but it's actually been on the same site for over 100 years and they now sell Welsh cakes, lava bread, pet stuff, nuts and seeds and meat and all sorts of things. So it's a food lover's paradise apparently. So we've come upstairs first because I wanted to show you what it looks like from the top here. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at all these stalls and little shops. Benji's already shopping over there. Can you see him? Looking at more records. <laughs> We found the next um, arcade, which I just want to show you. This is like the main sort of high streets areas, um, but these arcades are just sort of hidden. So here we go. It's also quite a good way to cut through to the other sides and um, avoid crowds as well. So it's quite a nice little tip. Six different arcades. So, oh, well, look, here you go. I just wanted to try and show the arcades, how they've changed. Hopefully you can appreciate this a little bit. Oh yeah, wow, that's amazing. Cardiff Crown Courts. Okay, and that's then? Cardiff City Hall. Oh wow, it's gorgeous. And then off the top of my head, that's the National Museum of Cardiff. I may jinx it, but we have been quite lucky with the rain. Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> but we are about to go into a museum now. So what I was gonna say is if you are in Cardiff on a rainy day, uh, the museum is free. Um, you, we've just pre-booked ours, so. Put this the entry slot, haven't we? Yeah, uh, which is really exciting. We haven't been to a museum in years. London? When did we go to a museum in London? It's been ages since we've history, done. didn't we? God, it's been a long time, so oh, exciting. Poor Ben just had to carry that umbrella all day and we haven't used it. <laughs> Who wanted it? Me. Who had to carry it? You. 
comment below if anyone has to be are you the person in the relationship that has to carry everything <laughs> always look up because look how gorgeous this building is there are lots of things to see here so not sure where we're gonna start so apparently you could easily spend a few days just looking around everything in here but obviously we only have a couple of hours till they close now there's a particular exhibit we want to see um, which is a gallery of whales itself so i want to find that and at the moment they have an exhibition called becoming richard burton which is also free um, which you could come and look at until october by the looks of it so the first thing we're going to go and do is the evolution of whales which is 1b here and it's quite a big um, area so let's go and have a look that we roam the same planet as they once did. It actually blows my mind. Imagine going for a walk with Bonnie and one of them pops its head out of the corner. Why weren't we born around this period? Like, look how cheap it would have been to fly anywhere on holiday. <laughs> Wait, is that what it looked like? Look, should we just pop over to Australia? Yeah, don't worry, it's only a quarter of the globe away. Oh my gosh, look, look how close look, everything look was. We'd have, been rap we'd have been like two hour flight to Florida. Do you know what? I've never seen a map like that. Is that mad? Yeah, we used to be Pangaea, didn't we? Where it was all, all together. Wow, and, and then, then obviously America's well over here now. Yeah, and then the continental plates, they drifted. That's incredible. How is it, right, that these are like 300 years old and they're flawless, and I can't take a dish out of the dishwasher without getting a chip in it? <laughs> It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, they are on display not being touched by you. That'll be one thing. Okay, we are finishing up. We didn't film in any of the art and photography galleries just because we weren't 100% sure if that was allowed. So we are meant to be going for a walk through Butte Park tomorrow, but the weather isn't looking good. So I just thought I'd show you what it looks like whilst the weather is still on our side. We're actually just walking back to the car and it's just a lovely green open space. This is so lovely around here. Some solid trees through here. Oh yeah, we love trees. trees. Yeah, if you watch the vlogs, you'll know we appreciate a good tree. Look at these branches though, this is lovely. How nice would this be in the summer? Yeah. Picnic blanket, reading a book, going for a stroll, going for a cycle through here. It's quiche. lovely. Quiche and some sausage rolls. Quiche? Yeah. It's a bit rogue. Quiche? What, a picnic? <laughs> well, You've never been on a picnic before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah just you all right? out of all the picnic Am things. Quiche. Right? <laughs> alright, alright. I won't have you slander quiche like that. <laughs> <laughs> just stopped at the car and picked up our overnight bag. We're staying at the Pont Cana. Is that how you say it? Something like that. The Pont Cana Inn, uh, which looks like a really cute, little quirky um, boutique sort of hotel and it's only like a five minute walk from here so i'm gonna get to the hotel show you the room and then have a couple of hours just to like chill we've done how many steps Th almost fourteen thousand steps and it's almost five o'clock so we're gonna go back to the room and just chill a little bit really enjoyed it have you had a good day we went to a cardiff so many times either for football or work mm -hmm. but never to just have a look round and Go in all the alleys or whatever they're called. Arcades. Uh, arcades. Here's the hotel. Looks really busy actually. Alright, little room tour for you. So it's actually a pub as well downstairs, but it's really quiet up here. So this is the bathroom. Very, very nice. Nice big shower. Love that. Very, very nice. And then this is the bedroom. It's like a really cute perfect little room for us oh it's got a fan always appreciate that love it little corner around here i can do my hair and makeup a little coffee station we have been playing a few games we had some drinks delivered to the room we've been watching shrek it was on itv and oh i forgot how much i love that film and now dressed for dinner so I've even got little heels on. These are Primark, dresses River Island. Got my mask ready, because we're gonna get an Uber to the restaurant tonight. But yeah, 
it's just so nice to get dressed up, isn't it? Go out for a date night. I'm so excited. <laughs> Very nice. Let's look at your new shoes. They look good. Very fresh. Are you excited to go out for date night? Yeah, I look forward to it. I have yes. no idea where we're going. We're going to a restaurant called Chapel 1877, I want to say. Every time you tell me, it changes the number. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 1877. <laughs> All right, we're at the restaurant. This is Chapel Bar. Uh, what did I say it was called? 1877. Oh, we've been seated in the nicest little little booth. Um, oh my gosh, this is a gorgeous restaurant. Oh, I'm so exciting. Oh, wow. I love people watching and I feel like I can do that quite easily in my little booth here. You're in your element. I love it. We've ordered some cocktails. Oh, we would like to go to food now? Yes, we please. Would love to. One fillet steak medium. You want any starters or no? No. No, no we're going to have pudding instead. <laughs> <laughs> so we've ordered steak because steak is our favourite date night dinner meal and we haven't had a steak dinner in ages. So we figured so we're away, we're on a date. Got no bonnie. So you've got all dressed up. You've gone for the fillet medium. Yes. I've gone medium rare. You've gone for the peppercorn. I've gone for the bordelaise sauce. Yeah. The atmosphere is lovely in here. It's a really nice vibe. And we've ordered some cocktails as well because we figured, why not? Let's get the cocktail. What are you so having? I'm having an espresso martini. And I'm having a passion fruit martini. Cheers. Missed having cocktails at restaurants. That's tasty. Yummy. Oh my gosh. This looks so good. It's so dark in this little booth, but we do both have sticky toffee puddings, so gotta have a pudding. We finished our dinner at Chapel 1877. Lovely, Lovely. really, really good meal. The steak was perfectly cooked, sauce was nice, chips were decent. It was a nice decent dinner. Chips. It was nice, cocktails were good. Sticky toffee puddings. Oh, yeah, it was really nice. So we could go back to the hotel, but. When we asked for recommendations on Instagram, a lot of you know us very well, and hmm. Benj and I love mini golf. We've not been able to do it since the pandemic, and some of you recommended a place called Tree Top Mini Golf, uh, which is above this shop. Is it St. David's Shopping Centre? Uh, yeah, it is. Is yeah. it the top, I think? Yeah, I can see it. I see the name. Oh, can you? Yeah, St. David's. Ah, perfect. So we're going to go in there because they close <laughs> at 11 and it's only like 9 o'clock right now. So. Apparently you don't need to book either, so hopefully no. it's a bit of space. Yeah, we're going to walk in and see if we can we can play. This is a lovely area with loads of restaurants and seagulls apparently. <laughs> um, just around here, if you're looking for like chain restaurants and everything, just outside of St. David's shopping centre. Oh yeah, big Cine World. Here we go. How exciting. Here we go. Really good fun. Really, really good. Really liked that. It was just a really nice way to round off the evening. Oh, word for word, I was going to say that. <laughs> to round off the night. It was. It was really nice. Yeah. Oh, it's been such a long day. Who won the golf? Are you actually bothering to count? No, you obviously but, uh, won. I, I, I was just having a look at. Um, I got seven hole and ones across the two courses. Oh, well done. Yeah, that was a good one. You I got, did two or three. You got three on the last oh. course. Well. So I'll take that. That's us from tonight. Tomorrow we've got another lovely day, although it is looking like it's going to rain. So anyway, we will see you again tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. We are just packing up our things. We've been getting ready and we're heading on out to do our second and final day here in Cardiff. 
the plan for today we're going to go for a little walk through butte park where our car is parked so we can get our things in the car mm -hmm. then recommended a cafe called cafe brava yes which looks like it does really nice eggs benedict we had a few choices because we passed that petty grew tea rooms in the park at the old gate house or gate yeah the front of the gate house yeah. and then there was cameo club that was recommended and another one called the secret garden cafe so they were our other choices, but we've had a look and Cafe Brava We want to go for a walk good. through Butte Park as well, so we can go up to Cafe Brava yeah. and then back up into town through Butte Park. So yeah. it works out quite well with us because of our positioning and that. So Yeah, so that's what we're <coughs> going to do this morning. Then we're going to look through Riverside Farmer's Market. And then after that, on our itinerary, we're we... Going to the bay. Yes, Cardiff Bay. Let's go to the bay, bay. And then we're probably going to head home after that. We did also have as an afternoon option to go to St. Fagan's National Museum of History, which loads of people recommended to us. Um, and it's not far out from the city centre. It's like four miles away, but it's actually the Euro final football today. So Brilliant. we want to get home. Probably wants to go and put the flags up and... And go and do all that. So we've we got to get home. For Obviously, the game. I was dead keen to miss the game and go to Fagan's, but Brogan wanted to go and miss the game. So. so we're not going to have time, sadly, to do that today, which is a shame. However, if you uh, are looking for other things to do in the city centre or just outside, then definitely go and check that one out. That one out. But um, yes, let's go and do the day. I'm excited. Right, we've arrived at Cafe Brava. Oh, they do um, pizza. Not that we're having pizza this morning, but you want to sit inside or out? We went for Eggs Benedict. I've got it with salmon and Ben just got it with bacon. And we've got um, apple juice, orange juice, and yeah, smells and looks good. That was a very nice breakfast. Really, really enjoyed that. Would recommend, not far from our hotel, little walk down. So now we, oh, I think it's gonna rain. <laughs> we're gonna now walk to Butte Park. Yes. Good. Did you like your breakfast? Oh, it was really nice. It was really, really, really good. Tasty. Really tasty. We're just walking through Butte Park again, which is where we were yesterday, and this is such a great space. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. I don't know if it's the trees or what, but you don't hear any of like the hustle and bustle. Considering we're right next to Cardiff Castle and the city centre, having this green space is a real treat. So. Yeah, really lovely, especially if you have dogs. If we had Bonnie, we could walk her through here. Yeah. It'd be really nice. Yeah, lived around here as well. Nice for, place for a run or yeah. picnic or... Yeah, definitely. So we're coming back up to the castle wall and we're heading to get a Welsh cake this morning because I smelt them yesterday. I walked past this shop mm. and I said to Ben, I can't stop thinking about those Welsh cakes. So we're going to go and get one. And on the way down, we're going to show you the animal wall, which is a grade one listed wall with animals on. So. I'll show you, it makes sense. This is so fascinating. The animal wall is one of the most delightful and photographed. So the, apparently the original wall was located directly in front of the castle and was decorated with just nine animals. Models of each animal were made for Lord Butte's approval and two, including a seahorse, were rejected. The original wall was more or less completed in 1892. Okay, this is where we're gonna get Welsh cakes. This little shop called Fabulous outside Castle Arcade again. So I'm gonna get some, they're just 50p. Look at these. They smell so good, oh my gosh. We've got our Welsh cakes. We had some when we went to our Airbnb. Mm -hmm. We weren't that fussed about them, were we? But Only because. Warm, but warm, mm. different, different gravy. Yeah, because they were just in a packet and they were a couple of days old, but fresh and warm. A little bit of sugar on. Mm. These would taste perfect with a cup of tea. Mm. So the uh, river bus boat i think they call it a bus well it's a boat but you know what i mean um is here and this goes from butte park here straight down to the bay cardiff bay we wanted to get on it and have a nice little leisurely um you know journey down the river journey, journey up the cardiff riviera <laughs> but 
we want to go to Riverside Market before we go down to the bay, uh, which is a 10 minute walk. So we're going to do that first. We then went down to Riverside Market, which is opposite the stadium. And you can find this weekly following the River Taff. It was actually launched in 1998 and showcases some of the best food producers in Wales. So far, we've got okay. lovely macarons and Portuguese some custard tarts. tarts. And we're now going to get some drinks or a drink to share. We are down at Mermaid Quay. It's a little bit breezy down here, so hopefully you can hear us. But we're just going to have a little wander around. We've got about an hour and a half until I our lunch. You, this is where we went on our first first trip. That Nando's. Oh, you and I. Yeah. This is here. And there's that anchor statue or something, isn't there? We're going to go on the giant wheel just to see the view. Bungie is blatantly going to spin this round, isn't would he? I? You would. Would I? Yeah, you're right, I would. <laughs> Benji and I have been on a few of these and it just has become a bit of a like ongoing tradition, bit of fun, but actually we really oh, secretly quite what like part it. Part of it's fun. No, it's fun! Look at the view, it's stunning! The view's nice and fun. Cardiff Bay is lovely! I love all the shops right. and the restaurants. Spin us around the Pierhead building. <laughs> I think I did talk. You are. <laughs> You will see. Oh no, that's the stadium you went to. That's the Cardiff City Stadium over there. Oh, that's the other one. No, that's oh, the yeah, Millennium yeah. Stadium that we were next to. Oh yeah. Love it. Here's the Wales, um, no, sorry, this is the Millennium Center. Millennial Center. Look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't think the scale is doing justice on camera. Maybe you can see these passerbys down there. Can you see the scale? It's absolutely incredible. On a sunny day, this would be really nice to sit out there with a cocktail. Oh my gosh, the choice. So tonight, we're probably gonna have like light bites barbecue food. So we can have a bigger lunch if you want to keep us going. Uh, I'll have a bigger lunch anyway. That's just okay. kind of where I live my life. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm sorry, but lime and lemonade is and will always be undefeated. Lime and lemonade is what we go for in a pub, but there you go. I've got a um, strawberry and raspberry mocktail. No, you asked for double vodka. So we did order some starters, but I don't know what's happened. Um, they've not arrived, and the main has just come. She was going to take him back, and I'm like, well, you've, that you've, is made, ready you've made now. it now. I don't want to waste the food, so. And the food looks good. Yeah. But we did order some starters to show you, but. I wanted tacos. I mean, how long have I been talking about really fancy some tacos? Yeah, they had pulled pork tacos on the menu, but you've got fish and chips, and I've got a big chicken salad. We have finished our lunch and it's so lovely down here. Could definitely spend like a whole afternoon sort of exploring. So that's a wrap here in Cardiff. We've had such a wonderful time. Big thank you to Love Great Britain and Visit Wales for having us. We are really, really thoroughly enjoying escaping the everyday and ex exploring the UK and everything it has to offer this summer. We've done some great staycations so far and this one is no exception. We've really enjoyed it and hopefully you've enjoyed following us along for the uh, weekend as well so if you want to check out more ways that you can escape every day and uh, for ideas inspiration and tips I will leave a link below for you um, and I would also love to hear when you're going away next where's your next trip and if you live in the Cardiff area any recommendations for anyone else um, because people might be watching this for some tips so do let me know in the comments but yeah big thank you for watching this video did you have a good weekend I did, I really enjoyed it. what were the highlights all the food all the food all the experience Exploring, making memories together and just enjoying being in a new place, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. See you Bye! Later.